Hi YouTube friends. Now today I'm going to do butternut squash wedges. Now butternut squash is so much better than sweet potatoes or other potatoes because it's high in fibre yet it's low in sugar. So if you're suffering from um, diabetes, perhaps um, uh, number two, then this is ideal. So forget your sweet potatoes and your potatoes. If you want your carbohydrate, then this is your better option. So as you see, I've cut that top bit because the other bit has got the seeds in it. So this is ideal for wedges. Now, also, when you cut wedges, uh, butternut squash, you want a decent knife. So I take that top off there, right, discard that. And as you see, I cut down the skin like that, okay? Now I'm going that way so I can see where I've just cut, like that, right like that. And we quickly go all the way around this top part. And then what we do, we cut some wedges out of this and season it up. You see that? It's quite, it's quite easy to cut it, assuming you've got a sharp knife. Got a little flip there. We just push that over there. Right, wedges. It rests, rests, it doesn't rock and roll. It's not an Elvis Presley butternut squash. And then we go like that. Be careful of your fingers. Like that. Now, I'm probably going to get four wedges to that slice what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it into a plastic bowl just like that one two three in the plastic bowl <coughs> that's more than enough for two people there right olive oil olive oil is so good for you so we drizzle that over the top And then we're going to put salt and pepper. Keep it simple. Obviously, you can put other spices. But because I'm doing a dip with it, with that sort of North America, uh, sorry, North African flavour, Southern Mediterranean flavour, the um, sweet potato wedges we're best keeping simple. So there we go. Salt, pepper. Mix it all up, get your hands into it. And then I'm gonna lay it on my pre-prepared roasting tray. Now you see I put some bacon parchment there. That stops it from sticking. Now, we line it all up. For those of you who suffer with a little bit of OCD, this is uh, ideal. You won't freak out over this, like that. And then we bake it in the oven. I'm gonna put the oven on 180 and you need to at least do it for half an hour and then check it after that. So we go straight into the fan assisted oven, done and dusted. And now I'm going to do the dressing. As you can see there, we've got mayonnaise. We've got mayonnaise, we've got some cumin and then we've got some pomegranate syrup and then we've got some sumac sumac is the middle eastern spice that is very citric so it gives it that really sort of um middle eastern flavor and of course you can use uh, low calorie mayonnaise if uh, you you wish so we get a bowl I get a bowl, mayonnaise, this is to dip your wedges in, okay, I reckon two spoons will be more than, more than adequate. <laughs> Cumin, bit of an acquired taste, I like it. So, I go like that. 
Now this sumac, this is wonderful. You can just have this as an accompaniment on the table and just put it over the top of your rice if you've got something like a tagine. So I'm just gonna put that there. Remember the butternut squash is slightly sweet. So we need that citric to cut across it. Now, this pomegranate, this nectar of the gods, it's very syrupy. So we don't want too much on that. And then we just mix it together. So once the wedges are cooked, we will serve them on a plate. And this is like a dipping sauce. I'm gonna dip a, a little bit on my hand. All right. This is hygienic. It's out of my own hand. I think I need some more syrup there, pulp. That's it. That's gonna be more than enough. And then our serving, serving bowl. And then once this is all done and dusted, I will post a picture with this, with a dipping sauce and the cooked butternut squash. That's, there we go. So this is a healthy option. The wedges are baked in the oven. We're not frying them in the fryer or on the frying pan on the top. So this is a good option if you're um, being aware of your diet. Okay, thank you.